I got a book cart or I mean I think it was just supposed to be a cart for random shit but I have it for books I currently have only a few books on it because I I don't have enough books which is a problem I've never had in the past <laughs> so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that Okay, let's talk about what I'm reading currently and what I'm going to be reading throughout this whole thing. I'm still reading Hex, which I should really finish because it's not my book and I hate having books that aren't mine, but I'm, I'm pretty close to the end. Um, it's a lot sadder than I thought it would be. I mean, it's a horror book, so obviously things are going to happen that aren't great, but yeah, it's a lot sadder than I thought it would be. And... Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's not, I wouldn't classify it as super scary or anything like that, but yeah, it's, it's a really interesting book and I'm so close to being done with it. Okay. Next book I'm reading is Before the Coffee Gets Cold. Um, this is another sad book. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what my problem is, but I just keep reading sad books. Um, I'm pretty far into it. I'm on page 223. I'm on the last story, but it's, uh, it's really interesting so far. It's really good. It's about a cafe where you can go into the past and meet somebody that you have met in that cafe in the past, but you have to come back to the, the present before the coffee gets cold. It's pretty good. It has a lot of complex relationships between siblings and uh, between married couples and people like that, and it kind of explores all of those different relationships. The last book I'm currently reading is This Was Our Pact. Um, I actually got this one at the library because I do go to the library these days. It may not seem like it based on all of the books that I currently have. This book is about a pact that a group of boys make to follow the lanterns that their town puts into the river to the end of wherever they go. Um, they have a story in their town that they end up in the stars and they want to find out if that's true basically. I actually do go to the library quite a bit. I usually go there weekly. I think I'm going to take a break from going to the library though because the problem is is I get these books and all of a sudden there's a time limit to read them on. You have a couple of weeks to read them and then you have to give them back. And I have a problem where I read half a book, put it down, and then don't pick it up again. And so I'm forced to actually read these books all the way through, but I have all of these other books that I've only read half of and I never actually get to it because I'm constantly getting new books from the library. So I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break from going to the library and actually read some of the books that I need to actually get off of my TBR shelf. And I think that's it for everything I needed to talk about. I just wanted to show off my new cart <laughs> for the most part and then talk about what I was reading so you're not confused later on. And yeah, I think um, I don't really know what I want to film at this point in my life. And so I just have a couple of random clips uh, that I actually did want to film and I'm just gonna compile them and here you go. <laughs>
figured I would show the cats and actually talk about them. I swear they they sleep in other places rather than just this bed, but ever since we put this bed on this dresser, they have been obsessed. Um, but this is Cooper, right here. This is my kitty, and this is Rosalind, my wife's kitty, and they're bestest of friends. It's very cute. They only fight a couple of times a day, which is exciting. They're right. Hi. You hear these purrs? I went on a stupid walk yesterday for my stupid mental health and it was nice. It was uh, warm outside. And now if you can hear it, the wind is going like crazy. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> The wind is going like crazy because it loves to do that in Utah and I don't think I can go on a stupid mental health walk and my doctor is just going to have to deal with it. That's that's the update on my life. Oh, you can actually see my, my, my main bookshelf. Those are all my books that I've read. There's no books right there. And then my wall of tiny pictures. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I should explain the bookshelves a little bit because there's stickers on it, which makes it seem trashy. <laughs> it's not the fancy type of bookshelves that most people have. It's because I've had it since I was 11. So um, most of those are temporary tattoos that I discovered I could put on inanimate objects and keep them forever. So that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, there's more pop figures up there. There's more pop figures. I'm sorry. I'm not ashamed. <laughs> Just a little bit. And then up here is a, a Harley Quinn popcorn bucket when uh, the Harley Quinn movie came out. It's a hammer. It's also Bergen. Can I show you my other shelves to make me feel better about how messy my other shelves are? I've got some action figures, some video game badasses. And then these are all of my small books some action figures in front of them and then there's some CDs down there because I'm old don't worry about it I finished three books in the last 24 hours <laughs> which is rare for me but um, as you saw before I was in the middle of a bunch of books and was reading a graphic novel so those things go pretty fast for me I would show you them, but one I gave back to my friend Hex, and the other one I already put on my bookshelf over there, and I'm not willing to move the action figures in front of it to get to it again. So, I finished this book, the library book. Um, it was really good, it was really sweet, and it's, it's just so cute. There's a bear, a talking polar bear that follows them around and helps them on their adventure. And it's very sweet and it's a very pretty graphic novel. The, the pictures are very cute. Finished was Hex and that book is wild. It was pretty slow in the beginning. I, I thought it would be a scarier book and then things escalated so quickly. If you've read that book and got to part two, part two was three fourths of the way in and things just pop off. <laughs> and so it was pretty good for it. The last book that I read was Before the Coffee Gets Cold, which was a lot sadder than I thought it would be, but it was also very hopeful. It talked a lot about different relationships, like between sisters and between people who are married, who are dating, that kind of thing. And it had a lot of hard topics in it, like uh, Alzheimer's and just straight up death and how you deal with that kind of grief and the things that you're willing to do in order to uh, move on. And then I think that's going to be it for this video. I think the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and restart reading Lonely Castle in the Mirror, which is one I had taken a break from. Um, but I think now that I've had these other three books, I can go back and try that one again.